If you've been struggling with weight loss, fatigue, mood swings, it may be time to consider, is your gut unhealthy? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to recognize the signs and heal it. My name is Dr. Akani and I've helped thousands of women lose weight and fall in love with their bodies. Over the years, I've discovered a healthy gut is the key to a higher quality of life. The secrets I'm gonna tell you in this video have helped all the ladies improve their quality of life and feel amazing. So don't miss that one detail. Let's jump right in. So why is gut health important? Your gut health, essentially your digestive system, is the ability for your body to take in food, absorb the nutrients, and get it to the different aspects of your body that it needs. Whether we're using it for energy, for recovery, to address inflammation, or any chronic ongoing issues in our body. Our gut is filled with trillions of bacteria that helps promote digestion and improved immunity. So having a quality and a high amount of gut health is the key to a higher quality of life. Five indicators of a unhealthy gut. Number one, digestive issues like bloating, gas, and diarrhea. Number two, unexplained, unrelenting weight gain. Number three, sleep disturbances and constant fatigue. Number four, food intolerances and sensitivities. And number five, skin changes like eczema and acne. If while hearing any of these signs, you thought to yourself, that's me, then it may be an indicator that we have some issues with our gut health that need to be addressed. So again, make sure to listen up for these tips that I'm about to provide you. Tip number one, be sure to focus on your diet. We gotta make sure we incorporate more fiber rich foods like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. These feed the healthy bacteria in your gut and, and make sure that we're having adequate nutrient absorption. The next part in creating a diet is making sure that you're having adequate amounts of prebiotics and probiotics. These create the healthy environment in your gut to allow for nutrient absorption. You also wanna make sure to include healthy fats into your diet like fish, nuts, seeds. These are packed with omega-3 fatty acids which are great for an improved quality of life. Having more healthy fats in your diet will help with feelings of fullness, can help you curb your appetite, which will ultimately allow you to eat less calories and reach your weight loss goals. You really wanna make sure that you're limiting your amounts of processed foods and sugary foods. Having a high amount of processed foods in your diet can lead to inflammation, bloating, gas, constipation, and a multitude of other things. Think about how you feel when you eat a highly processed meal versus one that's high in fiber, high in protein, high in healthy fats. Your body tends to tell you the signs that, hey, when I eat this thing, we may not feel the best. Hey, when I eat this thing, I'm more sluggish, I'm more bloated, I don't feel as alive versus when I eat the foods that support not only your gut health, but your weight loss goals. One action step from this tip, starting today, I want you to start implementing more protein and healthy fats into your diet. Put it in the comments if you are game. Tip number two, you gotta manage your stress levels. When we are operating in a state of high stress, it can lead to increased cortisol levels, reduced food judgment where we're making bad choices. It's a reason that they call them comfort foods. When we are typically in a high stress situation, we crave those sugary, salty, sweet foods because they make us feel good, but it may not be necessarily great for our gut health or our weight loss goals. So you wanna make sure that you are really addressing your stress because it can directly impact your gut health. One simple action step when it comes to stress management, journal. Make sure every single day, carve out five minutes where you can journal, whether you're gonna do it in the morning or in the evening. Journaling is a great thing to implement to help you release the triggers from your mind unwind from your day and set intention for feeling better if you are finding this video helpful so far what i need you to do is go ahead and click the info card that's popping up i created a free five video series teaching you how to finally lose the weight and keep it off macros is one of the things that i touch on i also touch on your mindset how to create the adequate and the proper mindset to not only lose the weight but become the person that keeps it all I also touch on things you need to do like the best exercises for weight loss, the best nutrition and foods to eat for weight loss, on top of a bunch of other secrets that you only get if you go ahead, click the info card, or you can check the description and access that five video series.
All righty, tip number three, we got to increase our water intake. You got to make sure that you are adequately hydrating your body. One thing you can really pay attention to is the color of your urine. I know it's a nasty topic. I don't, I know you don't want to talk about it, but paying attention to the color of your urine will give you a quick and immediate indicator of your water intake. You want your urine to be closer to the clear side. Next time you go to the bathroom, look, is my urine neon? super yellow, mid yellow, or more on the clear side. If it's more on the clear side, that's letting you know that you are getting adequate water in your diet. If you are not getting adequate water intake, I want you to aim for at least half your body weight in ounces of water. If you don't feel like doing the calculation, just get four to six eight ounce glasses of water every single day. Having more water in your diet will help line the inside of your gut allowing for better nutrient absorption, allowing for better motility and movement throughout your digestive system, and also combat things like inflammation, sickness, toxins that we have in our body. So you gotta make sure that you're getting adequate water intake. I wanna know in the comments, how much water do you think you drink a day? Mm. I often recommend to my clients, there's a water bottle that has a light indicator. So it goes off every so often. I'll make sure to put the description here. It's to Amazon. It pops up ever so often and it lets you know, hey, you gotta go drink some water. So make sure that you are getting adequate water intake because it will make a significant difference for your overall health. The last and final tip, we gotta get some sleep. Making sure you're getting adequate sleep not only helps with your gut health, it allows your digestion to happen. It allows for recovery for anything that may be going on in your gut, any inflammation that you may be dealing with, any aches and pains in your body. But getting adequate sleep does wonders for your weight loss goals. If you're someone who deals with high stress levels like we talked about earlier, reducing your cortisol levels, giving your body time to adequately recover, de-stress, and get to a state of relaxation will make wonders, not only for your weight loss goals, but for your mental health, your overall mental clarity, and just how you feel. We gotta make sure that we're getting adequate sleep. The goal is seven to nine hours of sleep. I understand if you have a super busy lifestyle and it's seven to nine hours just doesn't make sense. What I want you to focus on is making sure that you're getting at least a consistent number each day. So if I'm only getting six hours, I'm gonna get six hours every single day versus I got six hours this day, 10 hours this day, nine hours this day. You gotta make sure you have a consistent amount of sleep across of the weeks that's gonna allow your body to get into an adequate sleep-wake cycle where your body knows and it can predict, okay, this is when we rest, this is when we're alert. Getting into that natural cycle will make wonders for how you feel overall. For your action step for this tip, I want you to commit in the comments and say, hey doc, I commit to getting a consistent amount of sleep every single day moving mm. on. You can take it the extra step and let me know what that number is and I'm gonna hold you accountable to it. All right, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope it has been beneficial for you. Remember ladies, healing your gut takes time, but if you implement these tips, one day at a time and be consistent with it, you'll notice significant changes, not only to your gut health, your weight loss goals, your belly fat, your constipation, and ultimately how you feel. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. Till next time, love y'all, peace.